Felipe Nazar, new Formula One star, and a Brazilian in London. Oh, it's exactly the same like in Brazil, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. I, I miss home. I miss to be in the sun, but uh, it's been five years now living in the UK, so I'm pretty much used to the weather, to the culture, but it's still quite difficult after uh, the summer break in Brazil to come over here and getting used to the weather again, but I'm sure we'll, we'll get better soon. A photo shoot for Vogue magazine in his adoptive home, the home of motor racing. London, England is where Formula One's newest star lives. A rookie at the pinnacle of motorsports and a cosmopolitan in a world city. London is a great city as well. We have, it's, it's, a, it's a very unique place in the world, I would say. Different than any other places in Europe. A different world is also awaiting him at the racetrack. The limelight is what he needs to get used to in every tenth, every hundredth of a second. It has always been my dream. Since I began on motor racing when I was seven years old in go-karts, this desire to reach Formula One came to me and I, and I just feel very happy to have achieved it. But that's the first part of the dream. I think the second one now is to work on, on the progress and uh, one day to become successful in Formula One. The first steps in the new world. 12 test days in Spain to get used to his new team, to get ready for a new challenge. The whole world of Formula One is fascinating. The technology, the engine, all the best uh, equipment available, the best engineers, best designers, so this is all fascinating. And uh, to drive a Formula One car is a, is a unique feeling. A unique feeling also because those who reached this level before him have become legends in his home country. It feels really special, to be honest. Uh, to be part of the history, Senna, Piquet, Emerson Fittipaldi. And now uh, it's my time to, to take my first year in Formula One. I love racing and that's, I think that's what I was born to do. The responsibility. It's bigger, for sure. The Brazilians having such a good history in Formula One, it's something we all have to go through. Uh, every driver that has to come into Formula One has a big responsibility, has the pressure on his side. Just a few more hours, and he will stare straight into the eyes of that pressure, that responsibility. It's still a bit unreal, but uh, at the same time, I feel quite prepared uh, to take this new challenge. But I, I can tell you, I will only know that I will be in Formula One when the lights come off in, uh, in Australia, when they start. One gets the impression that this young man is ripe for his next big step out into the world. <laughs>